video, I'm going to show you how to set up and implement your Facebook shop for your e-commerce business. First, you want to navigate to your Facebook page. Then you want to find the shop option underneath your profile image. Once you click that, you'll be greeted with an option to either check out on Facebook or check out on another website. My preferred method is to check out on another website and I'll discuss the benefits and cons of, of both options. First, we'll start out with checking out on Facebook. If I click continue, you'll be asked to designate an email address which will allow you to correspond and communicate with your customers and then you'll be asked to choose which payment processor you want to leverage if you have an account with either of these processors then you simply need to log in and you'll be able to go ahead and connect that way so if i am using stripe i will need to go ahead and sign in on stripe on another tab and then I simply will go ahead and connect uh, to Stripe in order to set that uh, payment processor up. And then here, as far as PayPal, I'll simply just go ahead and click this button here and go ahead and start um, the connection process. And then below, if you have a physical address, you definitely want to go ahead and fill that information in. And um, that way, um, people will know that you're a real business, but if you're an online business, then you can uh, certainly set up a, a PO box um, if you have one, or take a look at um, Facebook and see what other options you may leverage here. Now, as far as the other option, if I wanted to go ahead and set up a shop on another website, or I'm sorry, if I wanted to check out on another website, simply click that option, click continue. Then I'll be asked or prompted to select which currency I want to leverage, and I'll go ahead and use the US dollar. If I click save, then I'll go ahead and be brought into my shop, and I can go ahead and start adding my products. Now, after you add your first product, you'll be given the option to start creating collections, and collections are basically a way for uh, you to make it easier for your customers to be able to browse your products, especially if you want to have a collections um, uh, for maybe um, your tank tops and have a collection for your hoodies, have a collection for your pants. So it makes it uh, easier for your customers or prospective customers to navigate through your shop. Now you'd be given that um, collections options once you click the add to products and then you start adding the products here. As you can see, you can uh, add images as well as video for your products and then you simply go ahead and populate the information with uh, the name of the product, how much the, pri the price of the product, how much it's going to be. And then you can write a brief description of what uh, the product is about and then the URL where you want the visitor to go once they check out. Now, I would highly recommend that you go sp directly to the URL where um, the person can begin the checkout process or if they need to select um, what size they need to um, to get for, for themselves or what color, I would drop them off there rather than sending them to your homepage and then have, making them or forcing them to navigate all the way to the specific product that they're looking for or they want to purchase. You want to make this process as easy as possible for them in order for them to uh, make that transaction with you. And uh, that's pretty much it as far as setting up your Facebook shop. Now, the other caveat is if you do have a third party platform that you're leveraging, whether that's WooCommerce or Shopify or BigCommerce, um, there is an option that um, Facebook will allow you to sync automatically your shop and it will populate in Facebook. Now, depending on which platform it is, I would suggest that you check with that platform and take a look at the reviews and see what other users, what their experience is, because I've seen some examples where people were not satisfied with the sync option. Uh, sometimes their products would just simply drop off or um, uh, or the shop would just would not be functioning correctly one day versus the other. And therefore, maybe adding the products manually might be an option for you. And it's certainly something that I would uh, consider if there's uh, negative reviews of the apps that are made available at those third party platforms. So that is how you set up your Facebook shop for your e-commerce business. And thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.